I did some other interview where someone asked me about The Last of Us and would there be any more stories or something. And I, and I mentioned, like, you know, we have written a story that takes place after Last of Us 2 um, that stars Tommy. And I hope one day we get to make it. And the headlines across the industry were like, um, Naughty Dog has outlined Last of Us Part 3. And that's actually wrong. It was, always, it was always a small story. It was never like a full title. At the time, we had higher priorities than Naughty Dog was like to fix our pipeline, to fix work-life balance issues. Just based on where we were, I didn't want to prioritize the story, so that story was shelved. And I still believe one day it will see the light of day. I don't know if it's, it'll be a game or a show, TBD. First game had such a clean concept of like the unconditional love a parent feels for their child. The second one, once we landed on this idea of the pursuit of justice at any cost, justice for the ones you love, it felt like, oh, there's a clean concept here, and there's a through line from the first game about love. If we never get to do it again, this is a fine ending point. And right, last bite of the apple, the story's done. The great thing about working at Naughty Dog is that we don't have to. Um, it's always like, we would love another Last of Us, but if you guys feel like we're passionate about something else, we'll support this other thing. Very privileged position to be in. I, I, I never take that for granted. I've been just thinking about, okay, is there a concept there? And for now years, I haven't been able to find that concept. Uh, but recently that's changed. And um, I don't have a story, but I do have that concept that to me is as exciting as one, as exciting as two, um, is its own thing and yet has this through line for all three. Uh, so it, it does feel like there's probably one more chapter to this story.